And we're on. We are on. Right, hello, welcome back. Uh, yesterday was a very exciting day. Um, we went to, went to this, the Retro Collect Video Game Market 2. And I'm liking the 2. Looks uh, strangely like uh, the number 2 from Sonic 2. And it was an absolute fantastic day, I've got to say. Really enjoyed it. I uh, got there around half ten. Uh, got in the queue. Me and my friend Paul Ellis went. Go friend, watch out. Diving around. Yeah, me and my friend Paul Ellis went on the back wheel UK. Uh, got in the queue. And eventually got into the uh, the venue around 11. Only a pound to get in, so that was pretty good. And uh, it were absolutely packed. Um, really, really busy. I had one big haul, I'm sure you've seen other videos, one big haul full of obviously, uh, sellers. And they had like little corridors scattered around, like little uh, hidey holes. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, various little rooms that we found them once, but then when we back, went back later in the day, we couldn't re find them. So that were a bit of a weird sell. Um, but yeah, really, really good day, really enjoyed it. Um, who did I meet? Let me think. Need to get this right. So, we met up with uh, Matt, obviously. Uh, uh, Matt from Soulfunk Retro. He had his uh, pixel artwork stall there, which uh, did really well. Always oh, very popular. Every time I went over to talk to him, he had someone buying uh, pixel artwork from him. Um, met up with uh, Stu, Tutti. Uh, Tim, bad fuck up. Very nice to meet you, Tim. I know we've been speaking a lot lately, but it's always nice to put a a real face to the name rather than a you know a, a YouTube virtual face. And um, who else did I meet? Sixty game, uh, sixty game of Colin. Um, wasn't quite sure on that handshake, Colin. You seemed to uh, seem to pull away a little when I uh, went in for the handshake. If you know what I mean? But, uh, as Paul said, even sexier in real life. So that was that. And then uh, the two Craigs. Craigs here again. Uh, again, I've been speaking to Craig a lot. Uh, he always comments on the videos. Um, and uh, yeah, got to meet him finally. Um, you kind of build up this uh, picture in your head of what somebody looks like. And to be honest with you, he more or less looked or were expecting really. Which is a good thing, Craig. That's what I'm trying to say. And uh, we had a good chat about um, arcade machines and um, his, uh, his setup and his future plans. And uh, yeah, we had a really good chat. I also met up with the other Craig, uh, Minx36. Uh, he's also into his, uh, his shooters. I'm sure you know uh, Craig's channel. He does his, uh, well, actually, he did his sh uh, shooter of the month and he's got a beer now. So we had a bit of a chat about that. Uh, who else did I meet? Who else did I meet? Um, so, Jay, Cybersnake7, nearly forgot. Again, very nice chap. Uh, I met him very briefly in Manchester in September. But I wore a bit, um, what's the word, intoxicated. So we had a bit more of a, uh, a sober chat. But again, really nice guy. Down to earth. Um, I don't know what you're doing, Frank, sniffing me hand. So that was Jay. I kept seeing Jay, I must have seen him about 30 times. Every time I walked into a crowd of people, he was there. And uh, So I wasn't stalking you Jay, just, um, just a strange coincidence that you were you were always there like... I'm trying to think who else I met. Oh... I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I miss anyone out. I did try and write a few things down, but I've left it downstairs. Um, Matt from Soul Pump Retro. What did I mention, Matt? Uh, the other Matt. Uh, he's just started. Well, he's, he's got a YouTube channel. I'll pop all the links below to these people. And uh, he's very kindly d done me my uh, intro, which you've probably just seen on the start of this video. And uh, yeah, again, I got to put a, a name, uh, a face to the name. I've never seen, never seen Matt. So uh, yeah, really nice to meet you. Uh, come all the way from Manchester. Come quite late in the day, so I only really spent 
about 15 20 minutes chatting to you but uh, we'll have a proper we'll have a, we'll have a proper chat uh, Martin Blackpool and they'll buy you that pint that promise you so I think that was everyone I met I'm sure there's someone else I'm trying to think so not many people and we all went out for dinner uh, we tried to find a pub and the plan was to have a sit down pub meal but it was just absolutely packed I think football were on or something it was like Christmas shopping you just couldn't get anywhere so we ended up having a, a McDonald's so uh, that was that so I've got some pickups uh, oh yeah first of all Frank got a gift hey Frank this is from uh, Craig Craig's here again he got a ball if you like and you got some uh, some smacko chew things right there downstairs he's polished two of them off so you can you all that and the first thing I saw when I walked in was this little guy and I think Frank thinks it's for him and I got it for three pound and um, when I first went in in the morning it was five pound but I got this lot uh, last thing and if you press his, uh, his belly it's a nice sonic related noise Frank you can't have him it's not for you yeah you've got your ball your ball what do you want ball or sonic Hmm? You want Sonic, don't you? You can't have him. No, no. Put him down. Sit him up there, look. Yeah, so uh, I got him at the end of the day. Uh, right then, pickups, pickups. Got a few things. Right, I got this Streets of Rage 2 uh, for the Mega Drive, PAL version. Did a bit of a swap because uh, the first game had no manual. So, and it, uh, it were all sun faded. So, I, well, the seller got me a, a nice looking copy. Frank saw. No, you can't have him. I, I know what you're doing. You just sit there and look at him. Yeah, he swapped the manual, and then the game was a blue label game. So, he swapped that out for the black label. And to be honest with you, it looks really nice. However, a bit of a, a tragic story to this, or a, a sad ending. I got it home, and it won't play. I've tried cleaning the contacts. Um, I won't show you because you want me to see it on camera, but if you look inside on the pins, the green um, looks like it's crept up, crept into the uh, onto the circuit board. I shall put it the right way, Tuta, as you uh, demonstrated. Um, yeah, so I got in touch with the seller last night, and within 10 minutes they came back to me, and very professional. It were a big seller. I'm naming no names yet, just in case the. Uh, uh, the uh, aftercare service goes a bit peaked on but um, he's going to send me a replacement cartridge and I'm just going to pop the original cartridge in the post and I'm going to send that back so I'll probably update that um, where are we looking at? look at the reflection probably update that in a future video but I've got a good price for it I've got it for, well, I've got it for a good price I've been after it for a bit and it's really nice condition so as long as the game comes through the replacement game comes through it's okay I'll all be happy and I'll probably name the seller. I've had a few things before in the past and I've always been happy, so I don't see why there should be a problem. But yeah, that's the first pickup. Uh, second one, again, something I've been after for a bit, the Game Genie. And uh, um, a book. Now, if you look, this is one for, one for you, Craig. Craig. Craig here again. It's a special Rumbelows edition. Now, I don't know if you remember that, Craig, back in the day, if, uh, if you remember seeing that everyone blows. I'd like to mention that I, I did give Craig a gift as well. Uh, I'm not telling you what it is. Um, might be making an appearance in his, uh, one of his future videos, so we'll just have a look out for that. But yeah, Game Genie, I've been after one for ages. Um, and I'm, obviously, I, I've made up my Games Master codes, Games Master magazines. There's tons of codes in there, so I just wanted to try it out. The, things that, the first code I did try out, I'm a drink, my mouth like with a cotton wool. That's better, isn't it, Frank? It's a drink, cold. Like a little cap. I want actually, actually a game still. Prefers cause. Um, yeah, what we're saying. Uh, Dahl, for the gaming uh, retro godfather, um, he posted, I can't remember whose video it was now. We're saying something about Sonic 2, Hidden Palace though. 
put this game genie game genie uh, code in. Do the level select for Sonic Two. You can get to that. I tried that out last night and it does work, but I don't know if that's it or what. But you just you just start the level and it's just like all blur. It's all glitchy, and you just drop to your you drop to your death. Is that right, Dal? I don't know, but I'll, I'm happy to see it anyway. And you see all the sounds there, so that's quite that's pretty cool. So that's that. Right, a um, couple of games from the same franchise. First one, it's a loose SNES car, it's Jurassic Park. Probably now I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park. And um, I've been after this for a bit. I've read the reviews in Games Master, I've heard good things, things about it. Uh, apparently, it's a better version than the Mega Drive version, so I uh, picked this up for a fiver, I think. So I'm happy to get that. That's that, obviously unboxed, but I'm not bothered. Second one from the same franchise is Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Now I had this on my original Xbox back in the day, uh, which I did complete, or well, maybe not complete, but I got five stars, five star park. I completed all the missions. I more or less did everything on it. But um, obviously I sold my Xbox one ages ago, so I fancied to get it back into the collection. And it, it does go for quite a bit on, um, I've got wrong game now, I've got a copy of Bully in there, but it's a machine behind me. Uh, yeah, just got, got for quite a bit on eBay, and um, I got this towards the end of the day, and they did me quite a good deal. Got under a tenner, well, well under a tenner, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's nice condition, although I think it is the French version. It says PAL on the back, it's got quite a bit of French writing. If you can, if you can make that out. Well, it don't bother me. I mean, probably it plays it's English. So that's that. I mean, obviously, I didn't get too much. Um, Price-wise, I wore after a 32x, a loose 32x. Went to the first store, which I saw one. Went to 90 quid for it, just a loose 32x, no power lead. Uh, oh, I think it had a power lead, but it had no patch lead to the um, the Mega Drive. 90 quid, you want to? It won't come down, won't budge. Um, then I saw another one later on in the day for £50. I asked him if it come down anymore, he said he'd take 45 And these, uh, this seller were in one of these little corridors. Now these little corridors were that narrow, you couldn't physically get to the stall because there were people walking backwards and forwards through the corridor. So a bit of a crap setup that I thought. Uh, but I eventually went back when I could get to it. Got him down to 45 quid. Went away, I had to think about it. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go back and I'll offer him 40. Went back, he'd gone. So that went into that one. So if one comes up at the right price, I'll get one. And the plan is to get an um, EverDrive cartridge and put the 32X ROMs on, etc. So I can I can run it like that, really. So uh, yeah, but games, game prices, all the sellers seem to be open to haggling. Um, very busy in the morning, quite busy to get to actually physically get to the stalls. I know my friend Paul, he basically bought most of uh, the retro gaming market in the first hour. So whether you want to do a pickups video, uh, Paul, that'd be pretty cool. I know he's got big plans, he's moving, currently moving house. He will be doing a games room. Uh, I will be opening with that, Paul, that is, that is a, a dead cert. Thanks off again for Sonic. No, you can't have him. No, he's not for you. Where's your ball? Give me ball instead. No, you don't. It's more interesting in Sonic. What's he saying? <laughs> Can't have him. Put him up there. So that was that. This is going to be one of them videos where I stop it and I'll. I think a loads more to say. In fact, I've got some more artwork downstairs which I need to get. So. I'll, uh, I'll probably put that on the end of the video. Now, I've got one more gift from my good friend uh, Matt from Self Fucking Retro. And I forgot all about this. I know he mentioned it uh, the other day when we were texting each other. And uh, he brought it in a carrier bag, all complete. It's very heavy and uh, it killed me carrying it back to the car park when we got lost. I'll just show you. It is. 